The major championships are a staple of any pro's career. Fans will judge a player on their world championship runs and amount of trophies accumulated over a year. For the purpose of this video, we are looking at the players that have never won a televised tournament, that being in the British Darts Organisation and the Professional Darts Corporation. So without further ado, let's get on with the list. Number 7, Ian White. Ian White is one of the only players on this list that has still upward momentum remaining in his career. It is well documented how successful the Stokey thrower has been away from the television screens, but he has never really translated that form under the lights. The Diamond was of course a finalist at the revived News of the World tournament in 1997, but it took him well over a decade before he returned to the upper echelons of the PDC. Quarterfinal runs in five of the PDC's premier competitions are seemingly the glass ceiling at the time of recording, but if his floor form is anything to go by, Ian White could soon erase himself from this list. Number 6, Ronnie Baxter. In his 30 years as a professional darts player on the BDO and PDC circuits, fans' favourite Ronnie Baxter never won a televised event. Like many of the players on this list, the Rocket was a bridesmaid but never a bride having reached five TV finals during his career. Baxter was a runner-up in the BDO World Championships two years running as he was defeated by Raymond Van Barneveld in a final set and then whitewashed by Ted Hankey 12 months on. The Lancashire native switched to the PDC in 2002 but did reach the final of the World Match Play in 1998 while still a BDO affiliated player, losing out to Rod Harrington in Blackpool on that occasion. Number 5. Andy Hamilton our fifth entry is another former World Championship runner-up. Just over a decade ago, Andy Hamilton was one of the most feared names in the PDC system. These days he is plying his trade within the BDO, but is yet to pick up his first title. The Hammers' first final run came in the 2007 Grand Slam of Darts, as he defeated the likes of Adrian Lewis and Terry Jenkins en route, before losing out to Phil Taylor, despite averaging over a tonne. Taylor would again be Hamilton's nemesis in the 2013 UK Open final, as the power defeated him 11-4 on that occasion. Hamilton has seen a resurgence in form since switching to the BDO in 2018, and with some additional confidence under his belt, it could only be a matter of time before he's a regular fixture on our screens once again. Number 4. Dave Chisnell Many people forget how good Dave Chisnell really is when he's up and firing. One of the heaviest scorers in the game, but yet to win a televised event in either organisation. The Yellow Peril burst onto the scene in 2010, coming from practically nowhere to run Martin Adams all the way in the BDO World Championship Final Classic. Chisnell would switch to the PDC system the following year, and has never looked back since. Defeats to Phil Taylor in the 2013 Grand Prix and then another final against the power in the 2014 Grand Slam signalled Chizzy was here to stay. He put in a magnificent performance to push Michael Van Gerwen all the way in the 2015 edition of the Premier League, but despite some excellent performances of late, he's yet to find the consistency to win a major title. But the thing is with Chizzy, you never know what is around the corner. Number 3. Tony O'Shea the silverback Tony O'Shea has been one of the BDO's top talents for over two decades, and aged 58, O'Shea is still regular on the BDO tour. Aside from his brief stint at Q School, followed by a couple of challenge tours in 2018, O'Shea has been a BDO loyalist, and one of the lakeside poster boys in his prime. Talking of the BDO World Championships, O'Shea is a three-time finalist on the famous lakeside stage. He was desperately close to defeating Ted Hankey in 2009, before losing out to debutant Christian Kist three years later. Having come through a stacked field in 2013, O'Shea ran out of steam in the final, losing out to Scott Waits in his latest tilt at a major title. Number 2. Bobby George The King of Bling is one of the great characters of the game. It baffles me, and many others, as to how he has never won a major TV title. George is still a regular on the exhibition circuit, but retired from the professional competition in 2019. In a career that spanned over 30 years, George made two World Championship finals, coming 14 years apart. 
In his first final, he would be defeated 5-3 by Eric Bristow, taking the loss in excellent spirit, as you can always expect from the King of Bling. In his second final defeat, George was whitewashed by a certain John Part. The Canadian's career was in its infancy, but following the victory on the lakeside stage over George, he would soon become a household name. Number 1. Terry Jenkins Ah, Terry Jenkins, possibly the unluckiest player the sport has ever seen. Nine, yes, nine final defeats in an illustrious career that saw the ball achieve plenty, but not a major television crown. Whilst none of his final losses were particularly tight, the sheer volume of losses makes him the greatest player never to win a TV title. The Bull was a firm fixture in the PDC Top 10 for years, becoming one of the most popular players on the tour thanks to his beaming smile and never say die attitude. His relentless search for a title would come to an end in 2018, as at 55 years of age, Jenkins hung up his dart, putting an end to a magnificent career, Jenkins truly is an all-time great.